Dear friends, today we will discuss <coughs> about the nature and scope for education for sustainable development. We have already discussed about the nature of sustainable development and sustainable development goals in which education has been given the priority that sustainable development will be possible only when quality education for all citizens will be ensured throughout life. In Sustainable Development Goal 4, quality education has been understood as one of the major goals of sustainable development. In this regard, today we will discuss that what is education for sustainable development and how education will be shaped in the context of the nature and characteristics of sustainable development and education will be used as a powerful means for achieving the goals of sustainable development. As UNESCO has already identified about the nature of sustainable development, since education will have catalytic impact on well-being of all the individuals, the present life and future's life. So future's generations and their quality of life will be determined by the educational inputs provided to the individuals through formal, non-formal, and informal means of education. As we understand, education is linked with empowerment. The narrow meaning of education <coughs> deals with acquisition of knowledge, skills, and attitudes. That is, linked with the formal education curriculum, some specific knowledge related to some content areas or subjects. They are provided to knowledge in different grades. So the knowledge has been graded and gradation of curriculum takes place from primary to higher education. Accordingly, the skills are also developed in a formal and structured manner and the awareness and attitude related to some subject areas of curriculum are specified in our formal education curriculum. When we talk about education for sustainable development, we are talking about the broad meaning of education which is directly linked with the life and empowerment of individuals. So, here education, as defined by UNESCO, says that education empowers learners to take informed decisions and responsible actions for environmental integrity, economic viability, and the social development to meet the needs of present and future generations. So all these three dimensions of sustainable development, economic development, social development, and conservation of environment are three dimensions linked with the capabilities, development, the values, development, and human interventions so that the learners can identify their own abilities and take informed decisions about their present and future life. So education 
as has been perceived by UNESCO, is responsible to gear away 21st century challenges, aspirations, and our futures. So in this regard, we will see that what is the characteristics of education for sustainable development. First is, as I said, you know, education for sustainable development is empowerment. Education is an input. Through this, a person can understand his or her own abilities, identify those abilities, improve those abilities, and make use of these abilities for taking decisions. Second is, education for sustainable development says that education is all kinds of education are not related to sustainable development. All developments are not sustainable development. So, when you talk about education for development and education for sustainable development, there are differences. If we talk about immediate gains in economic prosperity and education should be geared to that, that is not education for sustainable development. Sustainability in economic progress and economic development of life with future expectations and meeting present needs, that will be understood as education for sustainable development. So in this regard, education for sustainable development is a holistic concept. And in this regard, we will see that the competencies which will be developed by learners and these competencies are sustainable competencies. So competencies for sustainability which will empower the learners and the citizens. Education for sustainable development acts as a bridge between local and global perspectives of development. The present system of globalization with the involvement of multinational companies and organizations and dictating the lifestyles of people to suit to the market economy is not associated with the nature of sustainability. Rather, sustainable development will be seen in the context of local progress and development with global perspectives. The fifth characteristic is that the quality of life and quality of education, they are highly correlated with each other. So, education for sustainable development is associated with the concept of quality education. So, it is not only the universal access to education, rather it deals with the universal success in education. So, the quality of education is an inclusive concept. So, in this regard, if you see how education for sustainable development is comprehensive in nature, it deals with each and every aspect of life, each and every segment of society, and the atmosphere, the environment that covers the whole world. Now, education for sustainable development is considered as inclusive education. So inclusion is the characteristics of social development that should be reflected in the nature of education. The pluralities, the multiplicities existing in our social setup, environmental setup, geographical distribution, economic disparities, and such pluralities and multiplicities existing in the society on the basis of such pluralities are discriminations, the children should not be de deprived from availing the opportunities for quality education. So each and every child at every stage of life must have access to quality education. So this is inclusive in nature. Education for sustainable development promotes understanding 
of sustainable development goals, the social, economic, environmental, and technological direction, dimensions of sustainable development. So, it is very much holistic and comprehensive in nature. Education for sustainable development is transformation oriented. We will discuss in detail in some other units about the concept of transformative or transformation oriented learning. So transformation oriented education is just against the continuation of traditions from one generation to another generation making use of education as a means. Rather, education enables the individuals to bring transformations in their own thoughts, in their own deeds, and in their own values, and it is very much futuristic in nature. So innovations, the change proneness, and futuristic orientation, and transforming our life in the context of changes taking place in the global scenario and transforming ourselves as per our own future's vision of life. So that is the major role of education. In this regard, so learners must be empowered to take decisions about their own learning. It means we will have to emphasize on learner's autonomy, learning autonomy, learner directedness learning, and learner centric learning. And education must promote learner directed learning in formal, non formal, and informal setup of education. So, when we talk about these characteristics, the major shift comes from the teaching to learn. So, 21st century education emphasizes on education empowering learners for transformative learning. So, teaching is not the center of education. Rather, change of behavior of learners and developing their abilities and enabling them to take decisions on their own. That is the learner-directed and learner-centricity in education. So teaching will be used as a means for learning sustainable competencies and encouraging learners' own decision-making power. So education for sustainable development promotes self-directed learning strategies, that is, the autonomy in learning and providing opportunities for education for encouraging learners' autonomy. Learners' autonomy means learners will be capable enough to take self-directed learning strategies. Education for sustainable development is not unidirectional. Rather, it is more integrative in nature. All the aspects of life, different aspects of development as reflected in sustainable development goals, they are interrelated with each other. So, the multidisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, they are reflected in education. So, as we discussed now, education for sustainable development focuses on transformation of the individual's personality and our social system with futuristic orientation. And as a result, education for sustainable development produces sustainable citizens, the citizens with the competencies of sustainability. Now we will discuss about the aims of education for sustainable development as have been discussed in detail in United Nations education documents. And it deals with development competency, 
that enable and empower individuals to reflect on their own actions. So learners must reflect on their own actions. The learners take into account their current and future social, cultural, economic and environmental impacts. From local perspective as well as global perspective. So, the three areas, one is development of competency, empowering individuals in the context of current and future social, cultural, economic and environmental impacts. And the last point is the context is both local and global context. There are six key points for sustainable development. These points are, as we discussed, quality education for all through education for sustainable development. So education for sustainable development is identical with quality education. Second is inclusive and equitable opportunities for development of all human beings and their potentials through education for sustainable development. Each and every individual will get ample scope and opportunities for taking their own decisions and they will get equitable opportunities and no student, no citizen will be derived from getting such opportunities. Third point is empowerment of every individual. Education for sustainable development at every stage of education. Starting from basic stage of education in our new education policy, three to eight years age group, then preparatory education of three years, then elementary education for three years, and uh, then four years secondary education, after that higher education, and it leads to lifelong learning. So it focuses on empowerment, that is the major goal. And development of sustainable competencies so, education for sustainable development is competency-oriented education. Our mental faculties, our cognitive and metacognitive operations and functions. In the Gandhian context, education to train our hands, to get excellence in our skills, and involving ourselves wholeheartedly for sustainable development competencies. Then comes development of competency bring transformation in social life, economic conditions, political participations in every sphere of life from local level governance up to national level government formations and environmental spheres of society that every individual is capable enough to participate up to his best abilities in all these aspects of life. The sixth point is the futuristic orientation of life. Our present life must be linked with our future's goals and future's preferences, and future's vision. And future's vision will decide the course of action. So we'll move from present to future as per the future's expectations decided by us. Now we'll move to the five pillars of education for sustainable development. As you know, <coughs> The Dallas Commission report had talked about four pillars of education. That is, learning to know. Second is, learning to do. Third is, learning to be together. And fourth was, learning to be. 
Now, education for sustainable development as per United Nations decision, it adds the fifth pillar that is learning to transform ourselves and society. So now we have added the fifth pillar in addition to International Commission on Education's recommendations as Dellers Commission report which talked about four pillars of education. Now the International Commission on Education for Future have focused on five pillars including those four pillars and the new one is learning to transform self and society with futuristic orientation. So we'll talk about the nature of education for sustainable development. This is a constructive nature and such constructive nature is a social constructivist approach and education for sustainable development highlights six points. One is self-responsibility. Every child, every learner must be a responsible learner for seeker of knowledge and constructing the new ideas and visions for his own life. Second is the collaborative inquiry. It is not independent decision only, rather it will be interdependent exercises, collaborative inquiry. Third is, in this regard, we will have to encourage the dialogues, discussions, interactions, and reflections, reflections leading to further critical reflections. We we'll deal with the complex problems of learning and learning situations. So education for sustainable development doesn't work in a simpler unidirectional way, and it encourages open learning activities through provision of open education resources, artificial intelligence facilities, information and communication technology integrated learning opportunities to each and every person with open access and success for quality gains. The last point is that we must learn through diversity of ways. As I said, education concept for sustainable development is not only restricted to formal education in schools or colleges, rather it covers the non-formal provisions as well as informal provisions. And in ICT and artificial intelligence based learning opportunities cover all these areas. Now we will talk about different dimensions for education for sustainable development. The dimensions of pedagogy and learning environment. So it talks that the pedagogy must be an integral part of learning environment. So a teacher or the school system must provide appropriate learning environment which is conducive to learners and their inclusive nature. The curriculum of education for sustainable development, it must be holistic, multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary in nature. It must focus on competency development. The third dimension and fourth dimensions are related to learning outcomes and social transformations. So learning outcome is not just individual learning or change in individual behavior, rather it must be reflected in collaborative ventures for bringing social transformation. So, on this regard, if we say that how the different needs for education for sustainable development arise in the context of futuristic goals and 21st century education. The first one here, United Nations say that education should save peaceful, just, and sustainable futures. Education itself must be transformed. So, if education is to be used as a powerful means for sustainable development, so it must transform itself. Education for sustainable development 
is the major focus of sustainable development goal in four. And its relevance is seen in the context of attainment of rest of the goals. So rest of the 16 goals as have been discussed, they must be achieved with the help of curricular inputs of education. The International Commission on the Future of Education highlighted at length that how education plays fundamental role in transformation of human society and how education builds human capacity for interconnectivity of society and the environment, the local environment with global conditions. Education must shape the peaceful, just and sustainable futures and education itself must be geared towards transformation of society. To think differently about quality education and to strengthen education as a public endeavor and a common good. So new education policy of 2020 highlights this in its own principles that education is coming under the public sector and it must be a public endeavor for common good. Now, education must assure the quality education throughout life. So, formal, informal, and non-formal learning system must be integrated with quality education. It must ensure the principles of social inclusiveness and equity in education as per the provisions of constitutions of India, we must highlight the equitable provisions for quality education of each and every learner in a pluralistic Indian society. And it must encourage everyone's participation in public discussion about ESD. Now, friends, we will talk about development of sustainable competencies. So, we will see that how competencies will be developed. And these competencies will be developed through proper provisions of school curriculum and curricular practices. It covers the systemic thinking competency, that means the system's approach is to be linked with the educational provisions and we must see that how different components of life are interrelated with education and educational goals are to be prioritized in the context of sustainable development goals. The anticipatory competency, it highlights the competencies for forecasting futures and assessing the impacts of technology in the context of futures life and making scenarios of futures of life and futures of education. Normative competency talks about our competencies to assess and evaluate, judge the utility of educational opportunities and the inputs and to judge the process interventions so that it is worth for our educational development in the context of sustainable development goals. The strategic competencies, the learners will be empowered to develop strategies which are of multiple nature and with multiplicity they will have to choose what is the best approach or the best alternative in the pluralistic conditions of learning and development. Collaboration competency, it highlights how to work in interdependent manner to learn by observing others' performances, listening to others, reflecting on others' ideas and getting the opportunity to share our own ideas and visions and views and performances doing 
it in collaborative situations. Critical thinking competencies. So our education is not just restricted to acquiring knowledge and reproduction of ideas, whatever we had remembered, rather it must lead to cognitive, metacognitive exercises and critical thinking leading to creations of ideas and creative expressions. Self-awareness competency, it talks about internal experiences and internalizing our own values and experiences in the context of future expectations. Integrated problem-solving competencies, we must integrate, interrelate different experiences and how to solve problems. So problem-solving abilities of learners in individual situations as well as in group situations must be developed. So these competencies are considered as the key areas of sustainable development competency. So now we are talking about futures of education for sustainable development. So here when we talk about futures of education for sustainable development, the International Commission on Futures of Education talked about three areas. One is futures pedagogy. Futures pedagogy is learner-directed and learner-centric pedagogy. The curriculum, curriculum is experience-based and life-oriented curriculum. The curriculum is multiple in nature. The curriculum covers the entire gamut of life's experiences in a holistic concept. And teaching and teacher's role as facilitators, as providers of opportunities for learning in school situations. The school system, it should be so open that the relationship between school and outer world, outer society, and reflecting the outer society's visions and expectations inside the school system and the school community interface is to be reflected in school governance and management systems. The school system must be futuristic oriented in nature. The third, fourth dimension, fifth dimension is the educational opportunities for lifelong learning. In this context, the schools, the colleges and universities and other civil society organizations providing opportunities for lifelong learning must be covered in the, peri the area of the scope of education for sustainable development and research and innovations. Research and innovation is an area of concern for higher education and particularly for teacher education. So our researches are not just oriented to theoretical study or application of theories to solve problems, rather exploring the alternatives and to gear it towards futures visions and futures expectations. So the innovations must lead to the global solidarity and it must lead to international cooperations. So international cooperation is a condition for attainment of goals of sustainable development and education will be linked with the experiences provided to learners which will enable them for global solidarity. In this regard, the role of university and other higher education institutions are very much prominent because our school system, our expertise, they are coming from the higher education system. So higher education system producing teachers and experts and their training and their competencies will contribute to educational transformation in other sectors of education. So in this regard, if you see that how education for sustainable development at institutional level needs transformation. The International Commission for Education talked in detail about transforming our uh, education system and 
our school system. So here the three points have been highlighted. One is the stakeholders participation. The parents, the teachers, community members, the educational administrators, policy members and industrialists, all these people who are directly connected with the educational system, their participation should be encouraged besides prominence of participation of teachers and learners. The second part is the technical and financial support must be provided to educational institutions, including the capacity development of leadership and administration. Without institutional administration and leadership, education for sustainable development goals and its practices are not possible at all. The third dimension is ensuring inter-institutional networking for facilitation of mutual support, like the teachers must interact with each other, cutting across different institutional barriers at multinational level, at global level, at regional level, there must be atmosphere for sharing the experiences of experts, the researchers, and collaborative efforts of institutions to make projects in the context of sustainable development goals. So in this regard, if you see, what should be the principles for curriculum transaction in the context of education for sustainable development? So there are six principles. One is that curriculum must enhance learners' abilities to access and to contribute to knowledge commons. These two points, that learner must be capable enough to access that where are the learning opportunities existing and how to capture such opportunities. And so that it will contribute to development of knowledge systems. The second principle here is the ecological crisis and curriculum. So our curriculum must be linked with the eco-friendly processes and approaches what we call as green technology. So we must emphasize on transaction of curriculum in environment-free learning situations. Third is learning to unlearn the misinformation. When we talk learn, then we are talking unlearn. So what is learn? We must learn the sustainable competency. What is to be unlearned? Now those informations which are identified as misinformation, false consciousness oriented knowledge system, they should be unlearned. And then we'll go for re relearning our experiences and to reflect on our experiences to learn more. The fourth one is human rights and democratic participation oriented curriculum. So, we must give opportunity to each and every child to participate and to learn. Constructive and transformative pedagogical approaches of ESD. So our approaches must provide opportunities so learners will construct their knowledge. Learners will make use of their reflections, reflective experiences, leading to critical uh, reflections and to generate new ideas, innovative ideas, define and redefine the concepts in their own surroundings. The last is the interdisciplinary problem-oriented learning. So multidisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, interdisciplinarity must be reflected in our approach so while teaching one area of curriculum, we must take into account other areas of curriculum. So it is not the content of interdisciplinarity, rather the process involving interdisciplinarity. Now if you see that how educational transformations will lead to action orientation. So there are three areas, the pedagogical approach, 
highlighting the action oriented transformative learning so our learning must be action based as per the gandhian principles that without action without putting our hands without intervening in the conditions our experiences will not be sustainable so the action oriented learning must be linked with learner directed learner centric approach where the students themselves will participate in learning activities and take decision about their own actions and then it will lead to transformative learning transforming our own visions our own experiences and influencing sharing and caring others experiences so it will be a journey for social transformation now when we talk about transformative action oriented learning so we are talking about democratic learning process the collaborative learning projects must be undertaken by teachers by educators and students on the areas of future forecasting scenario writing future workshops so such areas should be focused on collaborative basis for teachers and parents second part as i said about the systemic analysis where different components their interrelationships leading to achievement of sustainable development goals must be analyzed and in that context the community projects the school community interface and case studies must be conducted the critical and reflective thinking and reflective journals must be encouraged in our curricular practices in our teacher education programs so in this regard our education for sustainable development is making a deviation from our tra traditional classroom based knowledge oriented content oriented learning provisions now we will focus on the assessment of esd learning outcomes on this matter we are talking about assessment as an integral part of learning process so in this uh, situation if you see how information on learners progress will be gathered and preserved and the achievement of learning outcomes on continuous basis will be recorded and informed to the learners second part is communicating learners about their progress in study on continuous basis having transparency and it should be integrated with feedback mechanisms to improve on the stream third is provide feedback in the process of planning and education for sustainable development based activities for learners and the third is to facilitate the process of grading the learners performances and achievement taking into consideration all the areas of experiences related to curriculum so these are different dimensions of esd for education for sustainable development thank you very much